Hey there guys, this is my hello and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy IX. In the previous video, we survived the attack on Alexandria and we kind of decided that we need to turn Sid back into a human so that we can get an airship that can fly anywhere so we can find Kuja. However, we learned that in the tragedy, after in the trauma, in the trauma Celeste lost her voice and there's nothing we can do about it. But how are we going to turn Sid back into a human? I mean, yeah, his wife did turn him into an Oglop with magic. And as Uncle from Jackie Chan Adventures would say, magic must defeat magic! So, unless, I mean, we could use magic, but Aiko isn't old enough and Celeste, you know, has a little problem. Oh, a book. Maybe this can help us out. You know, we can find another solution. Oh. Rather comical tone. Eh. Yeah, he might die from it since we have to take a we have to take it with a grain of salt, but what else what can we do, really? I mean, three ingredients? Huh. Three ingredients. That's pretty simple. I mean, I thought it'd be like what, a sixty nine thousand ingredients, like some sort of potion class in Harry Potter, but and they're all potions, but they're unusual, beautiful, and strange. Yeah, yeah, ratio. Oh, magicians, magicians of early times. Well, guess what? They died. That's because their potions... Did their potions work? Hmm. Oh, so we have to find them because they're so obscure. But con conven conveniently, Senna has the unusual potion. Well, that's nice. One down, two to go. So we have to go look all around Limblim Blim for the potions. Well, this... Could be an interesting quest. Hammer. Whoa, come on, fall, fall. So I guess the members of Tantalus are fixing their hideout since Lim Bloom was attacked after all. But we're we're rebuilding everything. Sure thing, Sinna has a hammer. Um you have a hammer, you can give it to Marcus. Um are you dumb or something or what? Give him your hammer. What, is it a foreign concept? Wow. Way to be greedy. Didn't you learn how to share back when you were a kid? Come on, give him your hammer. Contestus. Contestus. Sorry. Use your head. You know, I have a friend whose girlfriend said, you know, to use my head on to bang nails into something when I was trying to build a desk. A mini desk. I laughed. But then I was like, what? Anyway, so... Let's go ride the elevator down to the base level since that's where we're not supposed to go, but we're gonna go there anyway. Why not? After all, why not? So there's some interesting items you can find around here. Let's go to the Dragon's Gate. This was how we went to the lower level to go to Q's Marsh and get the Grotto, but for some reason it's blocked off here. What gives? Fine. What an arbitrary order, but here we can find a remedy. Nice. Now let's go back to the let's go to the other gate, the serpent's gate, because well, I don't know why. This normally leads to the dock down there, but if we go here, we could find none other than a chimera armlet. Awesome. I'll meet you back upstairs. Oh, you you should know how you can get to the air cab. Well, I'll show you anyway. Ding! Go this way, go this way, down here, and here you are, the air cabs! Aren't you so glad to be stupid that you need to have directions from me? I'm so cruel to people. But yeah, let's go around the business and theater, dis theater districts of Limbloom to find the potions. You may notice that the industrial dist district was not an option. That's because the industrial district was, you know, destroyed in the attack against Limbloom on Limbloom. I mean, people have survived from the people from the Limbloom. I mean, industrial district have su survived. Do you have the potion? Uh, I do. What do you? What, what else do you want to talk about? I don't give a damn. I don't give a damn about your technology. But yeah. You can talk to random NPCs and ask them about the potion or something else. For example, if you ask this guy, the supervisor, about this potion... Damn it, Jim! I'm a doctor, not a miracle worker! You know, when I first played this game, 
This is how this reference went, you know, this is how this reference affected me. It just went <laughs> over my head because I'm not a Star Trek fan and I don't give a crap about Star Trek. I mean, I only watched the movie, the first one. I never got, I never watched the, the second one, but yeah, that reference just went, went <laughs> over my head. Oh, here's a suggestion from... Or a comment from Zidane. I've already been here a few times and I like this in. The location is good because it's right in front of the air cap station and it's nice having a Moogle around. I just wish it were cheaper. Rating? 2 out of 5. On Yelp. Or something like that. Hey, what's up, Moogle? Um, I have a letter for you since... You know, that Moogle wants a, to give you a letter. Oh, it's not in a horrible set right now. It is. I wonder if Cooper and Marshall are okay. Oh yeah, they're in Alexandria. Let me know when you have more info. I heard a still gonna know it's also in Alexandria. Careful. Oh no, yeah. He was in Alexandria too. Stiltskin. But we want to we, we want to run into him more times in his adventure. But what how can he run into him if he's dead? Hello. Bo Bo Bird. You look like a Totoro character or something. But yeah. Um Let's go explore the business district because I happen to know the people who have the potions, but you don't, maybe. But here's something interesting here. Sagittarius. Another Stellasio. You may notice that these Stellasio are based on the, I guess, the 12 things of the horoscope. Meow. Wow, the cat can talk. Wow. And here's a rat tail that we got before. Baku? What is... Baku says, I almost ate it. Wow. You disgusting little boy. And you're Sagittarius. Sagittarius dashed through the night to find the ch chilly northern wind that was stinging his right cheek. But only his right cheek, not his left, because he turned his cheek and I don't know. But yeah. Like I said, you may notice that the Selassie are based on. What are they? They're not the Zodiac, but they're based on the 12 constellations, right? Yeah, the constellations of the horse. The constellations, yeah, the 12 constellations. What am I. Ooh. Yeah, this guy's the card freak. But yes, birds. You know, maybe you should become a game freak instead because card games suck. I played your card game and I hated it. You can go suck a dick. Although I did get pretty lucky in a card game tournament. Or maybe I am that awesome at a card game. I had no idea what I was doing. I had no strategy. I just happened to win by luck. I just wanted to buy some stuff by the way. I wanted to buy... What should I buy? Two magic rackets since I have two girls who might have racks and they may be magical. Cypress Pile, Twist Headband, I Won't Sing Again, Don't Worry, two, two Mantra Bands, Mantra Bands, and three Dark Hats. Awesome. They're pretty awesome items, but I'll equip them on people later on once I have a party. I should take a breath. <sighs> Hello, lady. Um, do you know anything about potions? Since you do run some sort of medicine shop. Ooh! And of course you have a potion, and of course you have the beautiful one since you're a lady. She did run the medicine medicine shop. The pharmacy, so... <laughs> nice, it's free. But yeah. Now I'll meet you in the theater district. So, see you there. Never accidentally go to the Limblum Castle when you meant, mean to go to here. Because if you go to the Limblum Castle, you have to wait for so long for these air caps to be ready. Ugh. Such a colossal waste of my time. But yeah. We're here in the theater district and... Hey, it's two rats. Like Bermessians. And they th recognize us. Wait, do we know them? Cal. Wait, weren't you the one... I know you guys from... Disc 2, right? Yeah, I did a couple from Brumessia. The couple that we saved in Brumessia. Like, Cal was on the ground and he was like, Oh my god, I'm my leg! And he was like, run without me. My family can do... Our family can do without me. But then we saved them both from the falling statue. So we saved their lives. And they're doing... They're both doing well. Yeah. See, it's not worth it giving up your life. You have to survive. I mean, it may be a struggle, but... Yeah. So, Burmesians survived. That's good to hear. Unfortunately, many died on the way. That's... Well... At least we have survivors, right? The rally, huh? You can only see this ATE if you get to see this. So it's worth saving the Burmesians because you get to see this with Freya. Hey, Freya, he got a cutscene for once. She's bringing... Yeah, it's like... Her first time seeing these Burmesian soldiers in a while since I guess she thought they must have died after the battle in Burmesia. It's good to see that survivors are survivors, I mean alive, but yeah, Dan and his family. I'm not sure about his I'm not sure about Dan's fa um wife and kids, but we saw how Dan got killed in the attack on Clara, and so many others have died. I still wonder, did those Clarans survive? 
Because Kina survived, but what about the others? I mean, Odin destroyed Clara. But considering, considering how Bermessians have survived, I'm optimistic. But yeah, we can't let our losses, you know, weigh us down like that. We have to fight on. And I talked about how... I, before I said how Freya's story doesn't really have much to go from here. I mean, she's still suffering from the losses of her hometown, Clara, Fratley. But she is going to... Well, her journey with us against Kuja is, in a way, a fulfillment. Because Kuja was indirectly responsible for all of this. Well, not Fratley, but he was responsible for the destruction of Bermessia and Clara indirectly. So, by traveling with us, she will still be coping with her loss. But she will still be fighting for what she believes in. And fighting for what's right. And fighting for her losses and her redemption. So, you may say that Freya kind of got stiffed when it comes to the story, but... I mean, I'm talking as if the game is over, but still. But yeah... Even though Freya doesn't really have, um, like, I want, basically what I'm saying is, Freya's journey still continues. I mean, it, it continues with us, as we fight on with the party against Kuja, and the Bermessians and Clarence will fight on, because we're strong. The Bermessians are strong. <sighs> it is a tragedy how Sir Fatty forgot about us, but... Maybe if we're as strong as we are, we will find some redemption in this situation. What's up? What, what do you have to show us? Who's that? Oh, you have kids. You have five kids? Wow. They breed like rats. Oh, wait a minute. They are rats. Oops. I mean, duh. And they grow fast. Yeah, kind of a strong word to describe me, but sure. What the savior? That's so cute. You can actually describe the fact that you I saved your life. Um, how about some friends? You look like you need some friends. But, well, I am pretty cool. Thank you, kids. Yeah. I mean, rebuilding after a disaster always takes time and effort. But, I mean, as long as we band together, you know? Because it's about the future. I mean, we saw those kids. They have a future to look forward to. But we have to make sure that that future exists for them. So we have to fight on against... We have to fight on in our journey against Kuja for the future of future gen generations. And here's a treasure. Yay, Lapis Lazuli. You may notice that these treasure chests were open before, but they got, have new treasure now, so that's cool. Oh, you didn't have the potion? Hmm. So, just in case it might be in, in your studio, we can just take it for free? Like, if I find it here, for instance? Sure, thank you for giving it to us for free. But yeah, like I said before, there's a lot of treasure you can find in Limbloom and previous treasure, and treasure chests you've opened previously. But since time has passed, they have new treasure. Hey guys, uh, Sinna, you have the last potion though, so fork it over. Or hammer it over. Whatever, that's pretty bad. I survived. I have no injuries since I survived in an explosion. Yeah, I survived in an explosion, so I'll live for sure. I'm invincible, but the invincible is also invincible. Yeah, I took the blank. Um, I want your potion. Give it to me. I wonder if I want your potion can be in any window. The unusual potion. It's very fitting for Sinna to have it since he's very unusual and very pathetic. Give it to us right now. Come on, come on, come on. Be faster. You know, it's kind of funny because Zidane wanted to rejoin Tantalus a few episodes ago when he was lovesick. But now he's like, uh, you know what, maybe not. I'll think about it later on. Then again, it kind of helps that he has Celeste back in a way. Although Celeste is in her condition. But yeah, now we can go back to the castle to turn Sid back into a human. Way to go, Zidane. Tell them the plan. And they're like, uh, what? Sid's a human? What? I thought Sid was always an oglop. I mean, I'm sure they've known Sid as an as a human before since, you know, us we always lived in Tantalus. I mean I mean Tantalus has always lived in Limbloom, so I'm sure they would have known Sid before Sid's wife ran off and turned him into an Oglop, right? Right? And as before, like I said, these treasure chests are refilled with new stuff. And hey, look at this. 
this is a tiny model of an airship that was previously in Morad's place. You know, Morad, the guy who wanted the three legendary coffees? Since we gave him the three legendary coffees, he sent this little model of an airship, the Prima Vista, our airship, to us. So that's pretty fitting. Yeah, that's all you get for the coffee side quest. But now I'll meet you back at the castle. So excuse me. All right, I have the three potions. Let's make magic happen, Dr. Tot. Let's do it, baby. I mean, doctor. So let's make the concoction. This is like potions class. Can you make the potion or will you kill him with magic potions? Oh, what the hell? Nice attitude, Sid. It's only your life. Or maybe it could turn into your human. Let's see here. Okay. Ooh, he's turning. He's transforming. Uh, he looks a bit too green. Oh no. Well, he's not an oglop. He's not an oglop anymore, but he's a frog. Well, crap. We're screwed. We'll never get an airship. Kuja is still at large. I guess we have to go find the source of this magic spell. His wife. Yeah, this is pretty disheartening, but hey, he's frog now. Thy name is Glenn. Ah, uh, references to an old LP that I cancelled because nobody cared. Then again, nobody. It's kind of hard for people to care about JRPGs because. JRPGs are, you know, a huge investment for not only the Let's Player, but also the audience. So it's understood how JRPGs are kind of hard to watch. And it's kind of my fault for not making this JRPG LP as amazing as you guys want. But, huh. So we can use a regular old ship to sail the seas to maybe find Kuja and or Hilda. Hmm. Yeah, there are... Those black mages on Kuja's airship. Huh. It's true. If there were black mages with Kuja, maybe you can go to Black Mage Village where there were those black mages who were aware because the black mages who are aware... I mean, the black mages who are with Kuja are aware. He seems so distraught that they would choose to go with Kuja. Why? <laughs> that is a good destination for us to go. Too. Yes, okay, I get it. This is a good idea. Um, Steiner, you doof! She can't speak! Why'd you ask her a question? Of course, I goes her mouth. If you know what I mean. If you know what it means. What's that? I can't hear you. I have to speak loudly. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm such a dick. I guess we'll sail the seas to the Black Mage Village and then continue sailing, sailing the seas for answers. Like where Kuja is and where Hilda is so we can change Sid back into a human. No free lunch. What is this about? Wait a minute. Kina. Oh yeah. We have everybody but Kina here. Oh yeah. This town is too big. This is Kina's first time in Lindblom. And this is the first... I mean... Even if he did get to visit Lindblom, it was before the attack. Ooh. Pickles. Steiner's favorite. They're smelly as hell, but they're Steiner's favorite. So, trust in Steiner. This is food. Although, you may need... I mean, the thing is, Kina believes in eating food, but Kina doesn't believe in paying for food. Although he is for diversity, so... Oh, this is for free? This is on you? Wow, you're eating a lot of pickles. That's a lot of bites for one pickle. That's a lot of bites for one pickle. So, here's two things we can do. We can go get Kina right now. Or we... Don't. I'll show you what happens if you go find Kina. Hey Kina, what's up? Long time no see. I thought I lost you. I mean, it is Zidane's first time seeing Kina since... Medane, sorry. Since they never ran into each other in Treno. I mean, we saw what Kina did in Treno, but uh, what's wrong? I thought she was going to give you a pickle for free. Um, yeah, unfortunately we... we n unfortunately... Unfortunately, we, we kind of know him or her. Yeah, it's a long story. What? I thought you were offering it for free. I guess every food needs to be paid with it, with money, and Kina doesn't believe in paying for food. Well, I guess I do understand your logic, but you know, you know how much it costs to grow those pickles. 
yeah, I guess that's true. Labor costs and, you know, profit and yeah, you have a business to run, yada yada yada, how much is a pickle? That's pretty cheap. Although, here's something interesting. If you have less than 100 gil, you can still get away with paying like 50 gil. It means Zidane will be like, I only have 50 gil and she'll be like, fine. <laughs> Please don't. But, if you have zero gil when you talk to Grandma Pickle, then you'll get an 80 later on. that involve Baku because Zidane will say, oh, you know what? I'll let my boss Baku pay for the pickle. But then Baku will be like, what? Why am I paying for him? I'll wring Zidane's neck. But it's not worth it to do all that. Ain't nobody got time for that. So I'll meet you back at the castle. In fact, I'll meet you back at the Serpent's Gate. But I will not have gotten Kina. So here we are in the base level. I chose not to find Kina at the market, I mean the business district, which is why Kina is not with me. I mean, if you found Kina there, then Kina would be with you, but, you know, I didn't bother to, so, yeah, I'm a good person. I love Kina. Not. I mean, Kina's a good character. I mean, Kina is Vivi's wife, so, Kina is special in that regard. Yeah, that's right, Vivi and Kina got married. If you forgot or didn't watch the episode since only four people watched the video by this point, uh. I mean, hi. So what's up, Artania? Nice beard. But yes, this is the ship we're gonna sail on to travel all, all around the world, essentially, so we can find what we're looking for in our journey. Because this is a, this is the start of our true, true, true quest on the Blue Gnosis. So majestic. This, I'm sure this thing will be useful. What's up? Who is that? Oh, Kina, how the hell did she get here all of a sudden? Like, I heard... Did you swim here or something? Did you just teleport? I I bet you did teleport here. Teleportate. Uh, yeah. Well, the thing is, this new girlfriend of mine is Phoebe's wife, so this is a bit awkward. Yeah, how the hell did you get here from Midian Sorry, I mean, I guess Kina just is a great swimmer. Did you get any experience fighting those monsters? No! Yeah. And why is Blank here? He was asked to do something. What is he asked to do? Oh. I guess it is true. Regent Sid is kind of in charge of Tantalus in some way. I mean, he, he did order Tantalus to kidnap Garnet in the beginning of the game. I guess that makes sense. And I guess... I guess it is true, since we did save Blank from petrification, so... This is how he's going to repay us. Oh yeah, Kina loves to eat frogs. Frogs are his main delicacy, so this could be a bit awkward. Or dangerous. But remember, remember frogs are the main delicacy of Kina. Well, you know what, Kina? Self-control, alright? So yeah, if you want to change your party members, you can talk to Regent Sid, because we can... So basically, we have all of our party members now. Yeah, there's only eight. Yeah, there's only eight party members in the game. But we can also explore the world. I mean, we have a destination, the Black Mage Village. However, we can also travel all around the world, because we can go anywhere with our ship. Which means the world has opened itself to us. 99%. Okay, well, actually 95% of the world has been opened up to us. Yes. Yes, 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 tutorial. But yes, 95% of the world has been opened up to us. We can go anywhere we like, except for like 5% of the world. But yeah, so that means there's a shit ton of side quests to do. A shit ton. Which I will try to cover in the next video, and if not, in the next two videos, but I will be doing a lot of speed up stuff, so... There's gonna be speed up, there's gonna be music, there's gonna be chocobos, and there's gonna be post commentary, so be, pre be prepared for that, because there's gonna be a ton of crap on our way. Before we can go to Black Mage Village, our main destination. no, um, uh, here. This is, our this is our main destination, but we can go anywhere we like. This whole world is ours, it's like our oyster. Which we can eat. But you cannot eat a world. Ask Kina. Bye.